It's late. I'm sitting here editing, working, doing my thing. And a video pops up on YouTube titled Joe Rogan goes off on why he's no longer a liberal. It's perfect for you. Ah, oh, she's like singing out of my soul. Sometimes we get lost in our own little world, but it's all so much bigger than we realize. In a day and age where everything's about the left, the right, up and down, polarization, big names like Joe Rogan, people that go viral, whose clips go viral, I want to see what he has to say. Why is he done? Why is he no longer a liberal? Was he ever a liberal? I just want to know what he has to say. Let's see if any of his var arguments are valid. Over time, this is what we're seeing. So over time, you and I, who used to be on the left, are now like, where's the left? Where are you guys? You yeah. guys are so far away. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I yeah. can't even see you. Yeah, yeah. You're out of your mind. You're, you're, you're chopping dicks off and, and giving <laughs> little kids yeah, yeah. hormone blockers. You have no idea what the long-term consequences are. You're ignoring the health risks. You won't even talk about the health risks. Yeah. You, you use things <laughs> like g gender affirming care. What are you saying? Yeah. What are you saying when you're talking about children? Yeah. Why are you just accepting this? Because it, it's, it's a noble thing to blurt out. So everybody goes, you're on the right team. That's what it is. Yeah. It's not like, oh my God, what are we doing to kids? It's okay, this is valid. This is interesting. Coming from someone who says he was in the on the left or liberal, to now see him talk about how extreme things have gotten. And that's where sometimes where I feel like you can often tell a red flag if we can't talk about both sides in a wholesome way or if we're not willing to also talk about the risks. And if you're shunned for talking about the long term side effects or the risks or what's actually happening, you know, if things are just romanticized and presented from one side, a lot can happen. A lot of misunderstanding, a lot of miscommunication. So he makes a good point here. Like him or hate him, but he makes a valid point here. It's not like, oh my God, what are we doing to San Francisco? It's not like, oh my God, why are we letting these violent criminals out of jail? It's like, yeah. oh my God, why are we defunding the f police? Yeah. What are you doing? Yeah. You can't say any of those things. If you say any of those things, but you're you a Nazi. Austin people are great people. They're really nice. They're nice. They're not heads. They're not Hollywood people. They're not lost in this fake world of leftist ideology that everybody's trapped in. That's another good point. You see some, and again, it depends on the reports, right? I'm not there in person, so it's hard to say. But a lot of the things you see, the footage you see, is things going haywire when there's no more guidance. There's You've gone from one extreme to the other. And so you have uh, um, recklessness, this godlessness, morallessness, and you got cities going to crap. Economically, companies shutting down, people complaining about those stores and places shutting down. But it's like, what do we expect when we swing so far to the other extreme of a pendulum? Leave the kids alone. When you start going after the innocent and those who can't think fully for themselves and, and you just start steaming everything okay and then for the sake of inclusivity or out of fear of being shunned, something's dangerously wrong. Yeah. What are you doing? Yeah. You can't say any of those things. If you say any of those things, you you're a Nazi. It. Austin people are... And that's another thing. He just said, yeah, if you do that, then you're a Nazi. And that's a key word because that phrase, obviously, we know where that comes from. Holocaust, Drittes Reich, Germany... That in itself, to me, as a German, is one of those things where I'm like, listen, y'all, being against something, speaking up against something does not make somebody a Nazi. Saying I disagree with this or leave the kids alone or this is not all right. There are negative side effects here we need to talk about or, hey, totally defunding the police or whatnot, all these things. That's not the solution, right? If you have an opinion and people are so quick to demonize you, call you Nazi, you don't understand the term Nazi. That's not what that is about or what that comes from. And that's the other extreme, right? Because who wants to be called a Nazi? But that's gaslighting. If you can't even have an opinion or disagree and we can't have a discourse, a respectful discourse, there's no ground to stand on. They're just people. They're just regular people, man. And those people exist outside of these, these blue bubbles where everyone's gone insane. Well, I used to be a part of the blue bubble. I, I was 100% a left-leaning person who lived in Los Angeles. I was 100%. I never voted Republican my whole life. I was very left-leaning, especially with, like, any social issues. When it comes to financial things, I'm a little bit more conservative. But at the end of the day, I'm way more left than I am right. But California went nuts, man. It's gone, like, full communist. It's out of its mind and their approach to law enforcement is so insane it's so insane the no cash bail the letting people out for committing violent crimes the fucking st not stopping people for stealing up to whatever money it is was what is it nine hundred dollars now i think they raised it i think they made it a little higher san francisco is non-existent 
San Francisco, most of San Francisco is emptied out of like big chain stores and big department stores. Cause they, I, I, would, I won't even do stand up. Are you serious? And then we wonder why companies shut down and take their stores out. People are shooting themselves in the foot. But the problem is your regular citizen that's doing that, that is enjoying the perks of getting away with that type of stuff, doesn't understand the long-term ramifications of the, on the economy, nor do they care. Right? Realize, thinking that this is going to be detrimental to your children and children's children, that it's going to take years to rebuild if ever a more sound and sane government comes into play. Those people don't think that way. People that are in that mindset don't think for the next future generation or the long-term ramification. It's just the gratification here and now. Give me what I want and give it to me now and don't punish me when I take it. It's sick. I mean, but hey, there's a verse that says the wages of sin are death and agree or disagree with the Bible or not. Some things make sense to me. Some things don't. That verse makes sense. There are consequences for your actions. We can just translate it into regular-ish. And your, the wages of your choices will come after you. What do you expect? San Francisco, most of San Francisco is emptied out of like big chain stores and big department stores. Because I, 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 I won't even do stand up there anymore. It's crazy. It's, they yeah. ruined it. They ruined the city. Yeah, I yeah. Mean, you can bring it back. The structure's still there. But yeah, you'd yeah. have to have some hardcore Rudy Giuliani type mother come in there and knock heads. Wow. And nobody wants that. You nobody know, wants that. They're peace, love, and granola and fucking wear a mask. I'm in the middle now. I'm in the middle. I'm in the I middle. Never, I never thought I would ever never. say that. Never, never. It, it only happened in this last year. Right, exactly. I just went, I can't do it anymore. You know what I mean? People that you thought were aligned with you are like now, now like mad at you about They're shit. They're in a cult. They're in a cult. It's, it's got all, I mean, Mark Andreessen, who's a brilliant venture capitalist guy, explained it to me in, in, in very clear terms. Like what the definition of a cult is, how you can get excommunicated, how you get shamed for having differing opinions, the group think, the whole, he's like, it's a cult. And he's right, he's yeah. 100% right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just hard to say because then people in the cult will attack you. But they're not attacking you yep. for a reasonable, it's not logical, like yeah. the way they're attacking you. They're attacking like someone attacks religious beliefs. Yeah. And some of these religious beliefs, so to get, mm. it gets into these weird gray areas, like like tr trans people in women's bathrooms. Like, says who? Yeah. Says who? How do you know that's a real trans person? How do you not know that's a f***ing creep that wants to pull his dick out in front of kids? Because yep. those are real. We and spa. You, yeah. And, and if all you, that guy was a convicted uh, sex offender. Yeah. Yeah. And he was doing that. Look, those guys are real. It doesn't mean trans people aren't real also, but those guys are f***ing real yeah and to even say that those guys are real you get excommunicated you yeah. get treated like you're a Nazi and that's the and that's the tricky part right how do we find that balance obviously there are trans people and there are those who want to be treated with respect and kindness but for the sake of inclusivity and the feelings of the trans do we now risk also the very real predators out there even if they're far and few between as some would claim if there's even one percent chance that they're it could be danger to my child or harm to my child, I will eliminate the threat, right? Doesn't mean I'm going to go around killing people. But the point is, how much percentage of risk or of real predators and how much percent of actual risk is, risk is good enough for parents or people to decide, okay, that's not worth it for us. We're going to have to create certain laws to protect the children, right? How many, how many incidences have to occur before we do that? How many feelings do we have to preserve and how much actual danger do we risk for the sake of people's feelings? Or do we help people who are hurting and in need and address the problem by their root? That's the problem because with a lot of these things is that there is a focus on the symptom, not the cause. He's not wrong. He is making some valid points.